Welcome back to Ministry Minute. The topic for today is, why does God allow bad things to happen? Romans 5, 3-5 says, And not only so, but we glory in tribulations, also knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience experience and experience hope. And hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost which is given unto us. Folks, sometimes we just go through some things. We want to get mad with God and say, why do you allow this thing and that thing to happen? Sometimes it's just life. Now, obviously, there's different explanations for different things. But when we look at it, we're going to go through some things in this life. Whether you're Christian or whether you're not a Christian, you're going to go through some hard times. Why does God allow it to happen? Because it makes you stronger. If every day was just sunshine around, we're going to be so prideful, we're going to act like we don't need God. But sometimes we have to go through those trials, we got to go through those tests, just to know that if it wasn't for God, we wouldn't be where we are. Sometimes God just gives us these tests, these trials, just to just strengthen our faith, to make us stronger. We go through these things and we come out better. Even if we don't see it while we're in the midst of it, when we, when we come out of it and, and we go on with our lives and we look back, we can see that we came out a lot better than we did when we went into it. That's why God does what he does. And then sometimes we go through things because we add things to ourselves. We get mad with God and, and, and we fuss at him, but sometimes it's our own actions that cause a certain thing to happen. Like for example, if you steal, son, you shouldn't be mad if you end up in jail. If you didn't steal, you wouldn't be in jail. So if we wouldn't be doing these wicked and evil things we're doing, sometimes we wouldn't have the same consequences that we end up having. I mean, obviously that's not going to happen in every case because sometimes life just happens. Sometimes you're going to lose a loved one. Sometimes you're going to go through some trials. But I can assure you that God will bring you through if you just trust him. Sometimes it's just a test in our faith. If you just trust God enough that he can and will bring you through, watch him bring you through. The Bible talks about weeping endures for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Come on, somebody. God will bring you through any situation. Nothing's too hard for him. It's just a question of do you believe that he is able? So instead of asking, why does God allow this to happen? You should be rejoicing and saying, you know what? I just know that no matter what I'm going through right now, there's a blessing on the other side of this. There's a blessing on the other side of my test. There's a blessing on the other side of my trial. There's a blessing on the other side of my tribulation. We should rejoice in knowing that God is with us, that God is putting us through this test just to make us stronger. Because if we have, if we don't have our strength, if we don't have our strength in Jesus, where will we be? If it wasn't for his goodness and his mercy, his loving kindness, where would any of us be? We should be thanking God for the, tar the hard times, even if we can't do it while we're in it. But even when we look back after they may be over, after those trials have passed, when we look back and see how God brought us through, that just shows his love for us. So my friend, be encouraged. You may be going through something right now. You may be going through a season of heartache and pain. But I just want to let you know that God will bring you through it. He's going to make you stronger. And trust me, if you just keep the faith. If you just keep the faith, my friend. God will bring you through. And he'll turn it around. No matter what your situation is. No matter what your trouble is. God can turn it around. Keep the faith. Mm -hmm.